tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I tell you mama I tell you papa too I'm gonna let everyone know About my love So I really hope you love me See, before silicons, before all of this, I was a MacBook user for the longest time. Thank you! Anyone who switched from a Windows laptop to a MacBook would agree when I say that once you go Mac, it's hard to come back. So I wanted to buy a new Windows laptop that was kind of like a MacBook, but the twist is my budget was 50-60k. I know, tough gig. But I went ahead, I researched a lot and I found some good options, but there was always one or the other compromise. But then I came across this, the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro, the 13-inch version with 16 GB RAM, 512 GB SSD. And I remember this launched back in 2022 at over 1 lakh rupees. But I got this for 57,000 rupees with the bank discounts. And at this price, this is something. I mean, this has things that you don't see in laptops in this pricing. First of all, this is such a premium laptop under 60K. It's crazy. I mean, this is one beautiful looking laptop. But the first thing I noticed when I unboxed this is how sleek this is. This is 11.2 millimeters thick. And the most insane part is this weighs in at less than a kg. 0.87 kgs to be specific. Yes, it's even slimmer and lighter than a MacBook Air. I mean, a lot of people have come up to me to check out this laptop and everyone has been super surprised at how lightweight this is. And not just the laptop, even the charging brick that you get with this laptop is almost like a phone charger. You know what, no matter how much I tell you about this in the video, it just makes a huge statement once you hold it in person. I mean, all of it just screams high quality. The lid is all aluminium with a minimal Samsung logo. The palm rest area and the bottom are all plastic, but it's very soft touch, rubbery, matte finished plastic that feels very premium. And I like that there's only one sticker here for the Intel Evo branding. And I actually went for the white version because I've seen the black one getting a lot of smudges and fingerprints. And this silver and white combo just remains mostly all clean. This is also very well built. There is some screen wobble, but that's pretty usual for ultra thin laptops. But other than that, I have had no problems with the build quality. I mean, the lid opens up with one hand and this indent is handy. And honestly, what goes perfectly with this design is this display. The bezels are fairly narrow, although the chin could have been used for a 16 to 10 display. But that apart, it's a Samsung display and I was expecting a brilliant AMOLED panel and this is pretty good. By default, this is set to Samsung's AMOLED profile and at this setting, the display looks rich. The colors pop, especially against the pitch dark blacks and the contrast is amazing. View angles are good too and movies and shows look gorgeous on this display, especially the HDR ones. Also, this is a color accurate screen. You have the different profiles. They're set to be 120% DCI-P3 color volume, which is awesome. And this was an important factor for me. I mean, I compared a lot of camera samples on the laptop and I wanted a color accurate screen. So this is perfect. The bright is all something a lot of laptops in this segment compromise, but this is bright Right enough, the auto brightness here works well and I had no issues with it. And it even has this adaptive color feature like True Tone on iPhones that adjust the color tones depending on the surroundings. The response time of the display is also very good and this is a glossy panel so there are some reflections but it's not bad. Now adding to the display are the dual 4 watt speakers at the bottom and these are tuned by AKG, have Dolby Atmos support and these aren't the loudest speakers on laptop I've ever heard although they're decent but it's the audio quality that's very precise and clear for laptop speakers. Now I know what you're thinking, this design probably means a little sacrifice on the ports, right? Well, that's what I thought too. And this has a small selection of ports, but I think it has the crucial ones. You get a 3.5 mm jack, a USB 3 port and a micro SD reader on the right. On the left, you get a Thunderbolt 4 port, a USB 3 type C port, and this even manages to fit a full size HDMI port. This also has a full HD webcam and the quality is decentish, but I found the dual mics to be very crisp and clear. This is a video from the Galaxy Book 2 Pro's front camera. There's no back camera, but this is without any studio lights and this has all the cool features. There's auto framing, which follows you. Kind of. Yeah, follows you. There's also these background effects. There's also these face effects. Yeah, no. Now the keyboard and touchpad are things that are super important to me and I think it's important for pretty much everyone who wants a good work laptop and this does not disappoint. 
The keyboard is standard sized obviously but it has three levels of backlight and by the way the backlight automatically turns on when the ambient light gets low. There's also a fingerprint scan in the power button which works well. As for the type experience this is what I wanted. The layout is something that I got used to very very quickly and the key travel is one millimeter which is good enough and I found the feedback from the keys to be nice and firm and the sound is minimal. The touchpad is impressive too, it's decently sized and it's nice and responsive and it has a glass surface which makes it very smooth to use. Now there's one area where this laptop will not appeal to everyone and that's the performance. The 12th Gen Core i5 P-Series processor is not the most powerful in this segment, I mean it does decently in benchmarks for a super thin laptop and there is fast 16GB LPDDR5 RAM and a 512GB NVMe SSD which has decent speeds as you can see from the Crystal Disk Mark score. But if you are someone who uses intensive apps or plays a lot of games, this is probably not the right laptop for you but for someone like me this is very good I mean I've been using this for 10 12 hours every single day for the last 15 days and I've had no problems with the performance sure my use case is basically tons of chrome tabs with a few work apps running in the background but I even did some photo editing on Photoshop and it was usable yes some things take a little longer than more powerful laptops but like I said usable and in day-to-day -day usage, this just feels like a fast laptop and it boots up in like 25 seconds and it's just ready to use. There's instant wake up from sleep. It also automatically turns on when you open the lid, even when the laptop was shut down. I also like the function plus F11 shortcut to switch between the different performance modes. Also to give you an idea, I did play some CS2 on this on low settings and the FPS was around 30, 40 and it was playable. The thermals are also good, you get the single fan and this heat pipe and like any other ultra thin laptop, things are mostly silent here in day to day usage, there's no heating issues as well, you only hear the fan and the keyboard area gets a little warm during benchmarks but yeah it's not alarming. This is probably the maximum fan noise and yeah it's pretty minimal. The 1240p is also very efficient, I mean you want good battery life from a work laptop and the 63 watt hour battery here easily lasts for like 6.5 hours, 7 hours which is pretty good. As for charging, the 65 watt charger is a USB-C PD charger so you can even charge your phones with it and this fast charges the laptop too. When it comes to software, this has Windows 11 obviously but this has a ton of pre-installed apps. I mean this is McAfee and I haven't uninstalled it only because I wanted to show you how annoying it is. I mean yes, I want to accept the risk, I'm a risk taker. Control. The other pre-installed apps are all from Samsung and if these are useful or bloatware depends on whether you are part of the Samsung ecosystem or not. I mean if you have a Samsung phone, a Samsung tablet, Samsung Buzz, there's some really cool things you can do but if you don't, uninstalling them would be probably a good idea. Also this has the MS Office apps pre-installed and this has Quick Share to share files between the phone and the PC but this still only works with Samsung phones even though Samsung's Quick Share and Android's nearby share have merged. So let's get to the bottom line. When this launched back in 2022, I thought it was kind of overpriced is not very value for money sure it had some good things but yeah value for money no but you know what this new price it definitely changes things yeah this is an older laptop it's not the most powerful laptop in this price segment no doubts about that but one thing is for sure this is probably the most premium ultra thin laptop you can get under 60k I mean everything about this laptop feels high quality and I got it for my personal use and I have loved using this. This display and design make me admire it all the time. The performance is good enough for someone like me and it does all the basic things really well, be it the keyboard, the touchpad, the battery. I mean I just don't have any complaints with it in terms of a work laptop and that's saying something. Comment below what you think of this under 60k and uh, yeah subscribe if you're new here. Make sure to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.